Cancer. This is Lana's Enchanted Sky. Welcome. Uh, please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading, hypnosis, or whatever I do. Also visit uh, Metaphysical Meanderings. That's my podcast on 216thenet.com or here on, on um, YouTube every Sunday morning live at 11.30 a.m. It got changed. Please keep us in your thoughts and prayers. My podcast producer, Pete, who I switched back to Kent, if you've been watching, he passed away. Um, please keep us in your prayers, uh, COVID-related, and uh, we're all devastated. Um, nice, wonderful man, wonderful man. Anyway, um, with that said, uh, this is my, my it's not a really a joke, but it's just what I'm stating. This is my New Year's resolution. I refuse to diet. I am not going to diet this year. I am always on a diet. I can't lose weight. I have uh, Hashimoto's, um, which is a thyroid thing, if you don't know what that is. And I don't eat much. I really don't. I eat about half or, or a third of what my mother-in-law eats, and she's 130 pounds. So I know there's something wrong with me. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an alternative route. Now, I'm an exerciser, all that stuff. So with that said, I will not waste your time. Let's get on with this. And a new start, huh? Oh, you're worried about it, though. But yet it's fair and honest. Hmm. You got a new start with a job offer, an offer, um, a, a something. Oh, and it's your wish. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, this is an interesting one. You have a new start coming here in January and it's a money-based type of thing um, where it's fair and honest and in your favor and it's what you wish for. And you've been scared or worried or you've been up at night, you're wondering, you're hoping, you've been, you know, but we let it go because it can't get much better than these cards I just pulled. And I mean that seriously, okay? You got a wheel of fortune. That's been that means that, that this is coming from the heavens. This is coming from God. This is coming from your angels, your guides. They're trying to help you. And it's coming from the like I said, from the other side. Now it's gonna help you get unstuck. It's gonna unstick you. That's what I always say. Unstick you. Now a knight of spades is is change. Now it's not a bad, it's not as dramatic as a tower card, but it is a definite change now all i know is when i love to see this card matter of fact i've got this card i have it like in a, a keychain i've got it on a t-shirt <laughs> because it's fair and honest and in your favor what card couldn't be better than that except the sun because the sun means yes 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 this is like my other favorite card okay um there's an opportunity coming for you you know, this could be a job. This could be something where you are happy as a lark. And it's the way it's going. So don't, okay. So a five of cups. The five of cups. The five of cups represents that you don't cry over spilt milk because there's a lot yet that's going to happen. It's kind of like, I feel like there's a queen of cups. Queen of Cups is using your intuition, but it also can be an A. It could be you. Okay? Because this is a Gemini Cancer reading. Okay? So... I'm really, really thinking this is you. I don't know why, but it's you using your intuition. Okay? And I feel like you're going to... you Don't cry over spilt milk, because that card is, represents that to me. You know, you, you're crying that you've lost a couple things, but you've gained, but you haven't really lost anything. Because I always say, compare this. Now, this is drawn differently. But if you recall, it's usually a man standing looking at three cups that are down, and then behind them are two cups. And I always compare that to there's two cups still there, and there's one off, the cow is off the, the card. Because you don't realize that in the long run, this is really going to play into your favor. Okay. So you're kidding your wish, too. So why are you all upset? Probably because you're ending something. Maybe maybe you're leaving some 
some family behind, you know, uh, maybe a, 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 an employer, you know, that you, you've been there or it's something like that. And you've had to make a decision and you're not, you know, yeah. but rest assured, this is going to amount to something. This is going to amount to something. So whatever is coming your way, I want you to take it. Now, my husband is not a cancer, cancer cusp, but remember that these are, this is a Gemini cancer reading. It's mostly for Gemini, but it's also for a little bit for cancer. And I know that he's like, he's afraid he's going to be left down and out in the cold, but but don't worry. I Like I said, this this is also, I know this is for him too. I can see it. Okay. Strength. Be strong. The Empress. My Roomba's stuck, you guys. <laughs> I've got my Roomba going, so if it's a little noisy, sorry, it's not now. The Empress is all about creativity, okay? It's creativity and being the person you need to be that and it can represent home and family you even taking care of somebody okay now see look at we've got this card again we've got a five here we got a five here you're scared but i want you to show you this card because everybody says that this is a bad card it's not either you're down and out but it's more of a fear that you're down and out because when you think about it where are they going to they're going to a church for refuge so there is red refuge available so if you explain it that way it makes sense that it's not a negative card, okay? It frustrates me when people are so negative with the cards. So with that said, this is this is actually, I, I can't wait to see what this is. You guys will have to tell me, okay? So to recap, okay, um, this is really good. And you're getting a wish that you've been wanting for your new start, okay? And I wanna say it's financially based. Go for it, use your intuition. It's being divinely sent to, from the heavens from you, for you, okay? From God, from your angels, from your guides all combined, okay? So go with this, all right? You, it's fair and honest and in your favor, okay? I'm going to give you a power oracle, which is the, the animals, power animal card, cards, okay? Um, I've switched them from moonology. I'm a little tired of moonology now, so... Okay. You always have a choice. Now, you don't have to do anything, don't do it. You know, remember, it, there's a free will involved in a lot of things. Some things are predestined and some things are free will. Don't you, you can run the other direction. I, if I, if I were, if it were me, I, I wouldn't, <laughs> I would go with this. Okay. All right. So if you have a decision to make about this, go with it. That's the message that's coming through. Make a decision and take appropriate action. So they just told you to make the decision. Okay. You are safe and protected at all times. I'm telling you this is being divinely sent as a gift and a blessing to you. The situation calls for adaptability and innovation. Remember I said to be creative? It has some, probably has something to do with your family and home life. Free yourself of guilt and shame. So maybe from your past? Maybe it's something you need to work on. Okay. Appreciate the beauty inside and all around you. I always take time to try to do this every day. Find something that I appreciate and something that's beautiful. Because, you know, it's gra gratitude makes things easier to handle in your life. Okay? Blessings to all you guys. I will be coming back to you with everything. Um, I'm already half taped already. Yay! So, blessings. <laughs>